Hi everybody, I'm making this video to show you how to put DVDs on your hard drive or iPod. Um, first thing you want to download is uh, DVD Decryptor. It's a free DVD uh, decoding program. It basically takes your entire DVD and puts it in a, f a file on your computer for you. Um, first thing you want to do is stick your disk in. It should pop up here with all the menus and stuff on the side. I just leave it in file mode. I don't really touch any of those other settings. It works pretty good, just how it is. Um, you do want to change the destination though. Pick something like um, I made a DVD folder in my videos is what I did. So the last one I did was War of the Worlds. It took about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to decrypt it. I don't have the fastest computer in the world, but it works. So after you do that, you go check out where you, it went. Um, you do see it is almost a gig, 8 gigabytes, and that's huge. But it's full quality, I mean, just as it would play, and it has all the DVD menus and everything. Here I'm using a VLC player, VLC media player. You see the menus do work, you go play a movie. Alright, but the problem with this is the files are 8 gigabytes. So, it brings us to the next step. Minimize that. You want to download and run Handbrake, uh, the newest version, which is 0.9.4, whatever that is. So, you want to go to Source, DVD Video File, navigate to where you put your DVD when you decrypted it, click Open. Um, if you want to do it a fast way, which isn't the best quality, but pretty good, I mean, it's watchable, definitely, which is okay for, like, cartoons and uh, any animated videos. It's okay to do normal quality under regular normal quality. Um, but if you want to do a bigger movie like War of the Worlds or anything with a lot of darker scenes, you definitely want to do a high profile. High profile takes five or six hours to convert. Uh, normal takes maybe two or three it's about twice as long, I guess. Um, and then I use iPod Legacy for the iPod Video Classic. Um, not sure about any, any um, iPod Touch uh, presets and stuff, but those are the only three I really use. So after you pick your quality, you hit Start up here. Brings up this thing. It starts encoding. It'll it'll tell you how many minutes remaining and everything else. The nice thing about Handbrake is you can. Um, add another DVD so you can do like two at the same time or two in a row I guess I don't have another one here so we're just going to do War of the Worlds again we'll just pick higher quality this time and you click this button up here and so it puts it in this so it's waiting for uh, the other War of the Worlds to finish and then it'll do this one so it's nice like you you rip a whole bunch of them onto the, DVD, onto the hard drive and then you um just do this overnight. I mean, I did three or four overnight the one night, and that was great. I'm just going to stop this for now. Yeah, just cancel. Okay, so that's how I ripped all my DVDs, and I have a bunch of them. And they do work in uh, Windows Media Player, except for some reason they get put under other media. Don't ask why. It's probably because it's like an Apple format, but they do play in here too. Like here, I'll show you. Gladiator's a good one. My problem, when you do it this way, it gets them down to, let's see, how big is Gladiator, where is it, here it is, 1.31 gigabyte, which is like a seventh, or a sixth, the size of what it was before, and the quality is great, I mean, this one came out just awesome, um, there's no chapters or menus or anything, so that's why it's so small, but, it just works. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you like it. Uh, see you later.